Hi guys, let's do a video on how can you make multiple rhythms with a record producer. Now I'm going to start by saying ServiceNow does not recommend this. They recommend you use an order guide to do this. That's not what we're going to do here. We're going to use a uh, record producer. So there are a lot of reasons you might want to use a record producer and I'm not going to judge you for it. This is uh, how we're going to do it. So let's start by making a new record producer. We'll just name it um, Recrod. Doesn't really matter to me what I name it. This is just for demonstration. So now this will be on the SC request table. And there it is, SC request. The reason for this is because we have to make a request in order to have rhythms and because they need to be tied to it. You might be able to do it without that, but uh, I don't really know what you're going for if that's what you do. <laughs> so, all right. So let's just get to it. What we're going to do here is we're going to open up our IDE and we're going to start writing some code. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the item. So that's just a glide record on the SC rec item table as you might imagine. So far so easy, right? Oh, I should say rec item. Yep. Okay, we're going to initialize it. Pretty easy. Now we're going to actually give it the request is um, equal to our current dot sys ID. That is going to give it the sys ID of the request that the record producer creates. Uh, we want that because we want to tie all of our rhythms to the one request that it makes. But yes, don't worry, they're, they're, you know, you're going to tie multiple rhythms to just the one. Uh, just like it's intended to be done, uh, even though this is not necessarily all how it's intended to be done. So let's go ahead and do gr.cat item dot set value. And this is where we are going to not have anything to put in here. The reason we don't is because we don't have a cat item yet. So it has to have a catalog item. And basically what you have to do is make a dummy catalog item to make this work. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is make a new catalog item. I'm just going to call it uh, an item. And uh, that is my item. I'm going to save it. Not going to put anything on it. I'm not going to do anything too fancy here for this demonstration. We're just trying to do one thing here. So I'm going to need its sys ID. I'm going to copy its sys ID. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to put it here. And I am going to save it. Now let's get rid of the, uh, yeah, save this. Okay. So once we save it, we should be able to try it and get just one item. There's nothing on the record producer, so all I can do is submit it. But it is going to give me a little thing. Oh no, where's my item? Let's try this. Uh, go back to record producers, rec prod. Oh, yes, of course, I forgot to insert it. That's a pretty important step. So that's going to be gr.insert, just like that. Oh, so we are going to do uh, actually get var rec item equals off of it, too, because we're going to need that later for uh, you know another thing. So let's save it again. Try it. Submit it. Now we have our item, our one item. So if you check it, it is related to the request. Now I'm going to go back to the record producer and actually do what we're talking about. I'm going to make multiple. So if we do a loop for i equals 0, i is less than, let's just do 10, and then i plus plus. Now we can make 10 of them, same way that we just made one of them. Now let's just grab that, throw it in there, and of course we're going to have to indent all of this stuff, no big deal. Okay, so let, let us save that. And let's try it. And let's submit it. Still nothing there to fill out. And now we have 10 of them. And if I look at any one of them, they're going to be related to the request. So good start, right? One issue you're going to run into is any request item is 
you're probably going to want variables that go with it. So, but that's what we're going to do next. A little bit more difficult, but we will get through it. So in order to do this, we're going to actually have to uh, have a, a variable on that dummy item, first of all, and we'll get to that soon. But first, let's just uh, set the, the option. Okay, so var option gr, we're doing another glide record here, equals new glide record. And we are going to do, this is the SC item option table, which is just basically going to hold the actual variable itself. And so let's go ahead and initialize it. Oh, no, I didn't want that. I wanted to do the period so that I could do initialize. There we go. So now we're just initializing it just like any other glide record. So now option gr has more to do. And then we're going to do item option new. This is going to hold the sysid of the actual uh, variable. So we don't have a variable yet, so let's change that. Let's go ahead and add a variable to this, uh, this catalog item. And let's make it really simple. I'm just going to call this string. String is going to be the name. I will give it an order of one. And I will save it, stay on the record, because I'm going to need that sysid. So now we're going to go to the, you know, once it saves, just grab that sysid off the, oh, too quick. Grab that sysid off the record. Now we can go back. And now in our item option new, we can assign the uh, sysid so that it knows what variable it's looking at. And uh, then we're going to have to give it a value. Well, we don't have to. In all honesty, if you want this to be blank, you can just not do this line. I'm going to go ahead and give it a value. When you do something like this, you're probably going to want to be getting a value from your record producer, which right now my record producer is blank, so there's nothing I can grab off of that. But we'll, we'll just go ahead and give it kind of a static value. I'm just going to say hello, and then I will do plus i just to differentiate them. And then we can go on. Uh, we got to do an item ID here. So that we're, this is another deal where we're about to insert it. But we're going to need to have what we just in, a, a reference to what we just inserted. And you're about to see why. So that's option gr dot insert. OK, so now. It's not, I wish it was that simple, but it's not. There is a many-to-many -many table in ServiceNow that links the individual variables to the rhythms that are created. So we're going to have to make that record too. So let's just call it var. Let's um, start to get a little low for you guys probably, and I'll go ahead and make this big again. Var rel gr. Oh, let's make it, yeah, keep it consistent. New glide record. Now this is on the SC item option mtom table, many to many. So now that we have that, we are just going to kind of initialize it like any other record. Oh, don't want to mess that up, else it won't work. Rel gr, and then it's a dot initialize. So now we've initialized it. We just have to link these things together now. And when you make multiples of these, you can kind of copy your code because you're probably going to want more than one variable. And then you're going to do uh, rel gr dot request item. And then we are going to set that to our rec item. And that, our rec item here, we did that up here when we originally created the item. So now we have the item on, on the relationship. Next, we have to actually get the variable. LGR dot SC item and its option. So that is going to look at our variable, which we just inserted it also, and we made a uh, reference to it. Item ID, that's what we need. And then after that, don't forget this part, LGR dot insert. Alright, 
So after all of that, what we basically done here is we have up here created our our rhythm. Here we've created a record for our option, our variable. And here we have related our created variable to said rhythm. And so what we're going to do now is save it. And we are going to try it and hope that I didn't make any mistakes. So I'm going to submit the record producer, still nothing there. And you get a bunch of rhythms. We're off to a good start. So if I click on one of these rhythms, there you go. You see our variable. This is the variable we created. This one is, is five. If I click on a different one, it's nine, right? So what you can see here is that I'm kind of dynamically able to assign data. Now what you probably, uh, a good use for this I should say, would be to have a list collector. Say you have a list collector on the uh, CMDB CI table where maybe somebody wants to do something with 10 devices, they have a lot of stuff to do at once, they don't wanna to have to put in 10 different tickets. Well now they can choose 10 CIs or however many CIs that they that they please and it will make an individual rhythm for each one. Now with the uh, configuration item table you actually wouldn't have to do the variable you can see right there you can actually just set it when you make the uh, the rhythm. Uh, but if you want any variables on it at all say you want the serial number off of that you would have to make a variable and then put it in here. You can also do this with um, catalog items that people can do individually. Maybe they just want a way to make a bunch at once. I've seen that request multiple times where like, is there a way that I can make like 50 of these things at a time? Well, here's how you can do it. So I hope this has been helpful and uh, have a good night.